President Trump held a deranged rally as he became the third president in history to be impeached, and now Republicans are threatening to rig the Senate trial in Trump's favor. For more on this, it's time for a closer look. <laughs> president Trump is now one of only three presidents to be impeached, and his impeachment is not some sort of misuse of congressional powers. It's exactly what the framers had in mind when they wrote the impeachment clause into the Constitution. In fact, as Democrats wrote, in their 658-page report detailing the evidence against Trump, the president betrayed the nation by abusing his high office to enlist a foreign power in corrupting democratic elections. President Trump has realized the framers' worst nightmare. And I think that's true both in the metaphorical sense and also literally. Back in those days, people would have nightmares about stuff like demons, vampires, or rubella, and Trump looks like all three. <laughs> he looks like a stowaway who spent three months hiding in a crate in the bowel of a ship who got bit by a plague rat and a Dracula. <laughs> and if you're wondering, if you're wondering if Trump was watching yesterday as he became the third president ever in history to be impeached, GOP Senator Lindsey Graham said in a press conference he'd been in touch with Trump throughout the day. I talked to him today. I said, how you doing? Well, I'm being impeached. Other than that, I'm doing okay. So, not okay then. <laughs> it's like when you FaceTime your grandpa and before you can get a word in. He bitches about, like, 14 things. How are you, Greg? Well, you know, my back is killing me, and I have sciatica, and I need my inflatable donut, but I lost it, and I can't find my hat. But you know me. I don't complain. <laughs> and Republicans have insisted that Trump is weathering the storm and pushing forward, like GOP minority leader Kevin McCarthy, who said yesterday that he met with Trump and praised the president's demeanor. I was with them just yesterday down the White House. Anybody else, this would be traumatic for them. I've never seen a man so strong. You've never seen a man so strong? Have you ever watched a movie with The Rock in it? Because <laughs> if you replace The Rock with Trump, they'd have to rename the movies The Slow and The Furious. <laughs> so the Republicans say Trump is holding strong in that case. Let's see what the president of the United States was talking about at his rally in Michigan last night at roughly the same moment he was becoming only the third person in history to be impeached. The rally was billed as a Merry Christmas rally. And in the spirit of the season, Trump went through a list of grievances and insults so long, CNN actually had to tally up a list of everyone and everything he attacked. Remember, this is what the president was talking about as history was being made in Congress. At the moment that the president was being impeached, he was holding a Merry Christmas rally in Michigan, a state that he is going to need to win if he wants to be reelected. The rally was one of his longest ever, and it was also one of his angriest. This is a list of just about everyone and everything that he attacked during his two hour speech. It includes his usual targets like Democrats and the media, but also event security for being too polite to a protester. And in an odd turn, during what is arguably the most consequential moment of his presidency, the president criticized dishwashers. You know, Christmas stuff. <laughs> That's right, the president attacks security guards, Democrats, the media, and dishwashers. Normally, when someone rambles that long, you have to take away their keys. Now, we're gonna play the dishwasher rant for you, but I also wanna show you CNN anchor Brianna Keeler's reaction when they cut back to her after the clip, because I feel like her face really captures how all of us are feeling. Uh, dishwashers, we did the dishwasher, right? You press it. Remember the dishwasher? You'd press it, boom, there'd be like an explosion. Five minutes later, you open it up, the steam pours out, the dishes. Now you press it 12 times. The women tell me, again, you know, they give you four drops of water. And they're in places where there's so much water, they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how... That's how I feel, too. That is, uh... <laughs> That's the face you make at a dinner party when someone tells you an insane story that lets you know they're a weirdo. Call me crazy, but lately I've been enjoying the Cosby show more. <laughs> also, let's assess Donald Trump's understanding of dishwashers. I mean, he clearly has no idea how they work. There would be an explosion and steam would pour out? <laughs> Sounds like he's talking about a baking soda volcano. He has never... Clearly never washed a dish in his life. Also, I like how he says, women tell me. They probably tell you that to get away from you. You want to see a solid gold apartment? Um, I'd love to, but my dishwasher exploded. <laughs> so I gotta go. But probably, 
My favorite moment came right before that dishwasher rant when Trump was again rambling about light bulbs, garbage dumps, sinks, and showers for some reason. And even his own fawning admirers were just staring at him in silence. When a light bulb is out, you've got to bring it to a dump. So let's say over here at Battle Creek, where's your nearest dump? Okay, that's what, a couple of hundred miles away. So every time you lose, drive a couple of hundred miles. I said, how many people do that? Nobody. What do they do? They throw it in the garbage. But you know what it is? Because it's all gas. It's much more expensive, four or five times more. And I came into office, I did a lot of this. Sinks, uh, showers, all of this stuff. I did a lot of it. No water comes out. You have areas where there's so much water you don't know what to do with it. You turn on the shower, you're not allowed to have any water anymore. When you're... Donald Trump, and you lose Trump supporters, you know you're way out in left field. <laughs> I mean, that is truly one of the strangest things I've ever seen. Thousands of people packed cheek to cheek in an arena, staring silently at a lunatic, just rambling about sinks and showers. A lunatic who they support. That would be like riding on the subway with a crazy guy ranting and raving about how a roach stole his cigarette and then realizing, oh, no, I have that guy's name on my hat. <laughs> But eventually, the crowd did get involved in the dumbest way possible when Trump went on yet another rant about how people supposedly have to flush toilets 10 times now because of environmental regulations. And the crowd shouted out some of the words. Sinks, right? Showers. And what goes with a sink and a shower? <laughs> 10 times, right? 10 times. Bah, bah. Not me, of course, not me. But you, him. An actual crowd of adults yelled out the word toilets. <laughs> like kindergartners completing a nursery rhyme. They sound like the audience yelling out the answer on Family Feud. Top five answers on the board. Name something more important than impeachment. Show me toilets. <laughs> Trump was so desperate. He was so desperate and insecure about being impeached, he actually tried to deny it and told his crowd it wasn't really happening. By the way, it doesn't really feel like we're being impeached. Do you... Yeah, we're not. <laughs> you are. In terms of getting impeached, the rest of us did great yesterday. <laughs> also, I love how when it's impeachment, he's like, we're all getting impeached. But when it's about toilets, he's like, you people probably take giant 10 flushers. <laughs> not me. Then Trump ripped off an angry tirade where he insisted the Democrats who won the 2018 midterms and got more votes in the 2016 election were trying to nullify his victory and lied about his sagging poll numbers. After three years of sinister witch hunts, hoaxes, scams, tonight the House Democrats are trying to nullify the ballots of tens of millions of patriotic Americans with today's illegal, unconstitutional, and partisan impeachment The do-nothing Democrats, and they are do-nothing. All they want to do is focus on this. What they could be doing are declaring their deep hatred and disdain for the American voter. This lawless partisan impeachment is a political suicide march for the Democrat Party. Have you seen my polls in the last four weeks? Well, have you? Because a <laughs> Fox News poll found that 50% of people wanted you impeached and removed from office, and that's a Fox News poll, Trump's favorite channel. There's no way Trump wasn't watching when they showed that poll. His aides probably had to tape over his TV to make it look like the poll said 50% think President Trump is a big, strong, tough boy, and we love him so much. And now, now, in the face of that reality, both Fox News and the Republican Party are doing everything they can to protect Trump. And that includes rigging the Senate impeachment trial to kill it as quickly as possible. Now, impeachment is a huge historical marker that will condemn Trump's name in history forever, but removing him is going to be a lot harder. To get rid of Trump, we're going to have to flush... Ten times, right? Ten times. This has been a closer look.